I'm, I'm from Waco, Texas, and loving life. And I've been into artwork and craft work real heavy the last three years. It's been on my mind all these years, and I just needed to try it, and everything's working out good. You have to make changes in your life, and I've made some of them, and I've found where I needed to be, and it's so exciting to have a peace of mind and be living stress-free and loving what you do. To me, this is living. I'm on the outskirts of Waco. I've been here, I was raised here, went to school here, and moved off from the service, my dad, and I came back here. found the right road I'm on and I just would like to show y'all what I have done in my last, oh, you know, I've created this in the last seven to eight years. I had things in my life I needed to make changes and this is what I made. This house, I just got through remodeling about two months ago, and uh, I would just like to show some of the public of what kind of work I do. And uh, walking into the place, the trees that we used in this came from her land, or either I brought them from the house. It was depending on the situation it was going to be used in. Uh, her post and stuff were not big enough for the steps I need. I use all her cedar trees for uh, handrail. I cut the mesquite to go on the steps and I cut the cedar trees to go on the kickboards of this. And then we finished out the handrails, the staircase, and then we went to the bathroom and we kind of designed a stump to go in the corner and then we put a mesquite top on it and she came up with a rock sink. I had to put the bases down to all this. Then we walked out into the living room where I did the shelf and uh, the cedar around the trim around the windows. I went through the house to trim it out and built one or two, uh, I guess, cabinets in her bedroom and the sinks in her bathroom and her other bathroom. I used oak and then laid epoxy in it and put praying hands and put coloring in it. And then we set two rock sinks and I trimmed around her mirrors in the bathroom and cedar to make it match the trimming around the windows. And then she had a glass uh, shower installed. And then we moved to upstairs where I put cedar boxes up underneath her bay windows and trimmed out the door up the hallway in cedar the outside trim and the baseboard for trim and back to the living room the trim around the lights and the 21 foot ceiling is all done in cedar and it's pine ceiling in the cedar trim and her office is upstairs where we can see the second story and I built her a couple of pieces of furniture that goes upstairs across with a horse head in it with a teepee behind it. And it's out of oak, black walnut, and boat art. And 
I'm fixing to go back and do our entryway gate in Cedar. And I'm just <clears throat> winding this one up and uh, I enjoyed doing it. Miss Lawson was very wonderful to me and she's a very special person in my life. And I thank them for letting me come back out to show you what I can do for me and just myself. And I'm just getting started in life. That sure looks good. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm Isabel. And this is the place, Uncle Dan's uh, Barbecue, where I found a most amazing piece that Doyle Zillum made. And I asked one of the employees how, um, if they had the number that I, where I could reach Doyle Zillum, and they gave me his business card. So the very day, that very day, I contacted Doyle Zillum because I knew he would be the one to restore my, my cabin out in the woods. And so I contacted him, and sure enough, he, he was the one, and he did a beautiful job. He went over and beyond, and it was worth every penny spent. He is an amazing craftsman. And he brought his sawmill on site, which made it really helpful because I was able to saw down trees, some uh, cedars, that, some overgrowth. And he just took those cedars and milled them right then and there and made trim, window trim and floor trim. And he's also about to install a countertop made of wood um, at my kitchen counter. Most of my life, I've been in the construction industry uh, for, for at least 56 years of it. I walked around from the back and he said, come see what I've done. And I walked around, I looked at it, and so help me God, I did not know what to say because I, I, I thought I was seeing something out of a child's enchanted cottage. It was, it was amazing. My first thought was it's so different. And then the longer I looked at it, I said, this is the work of a genius. This man is, is awesome. Doyle is. Uh, if I had one word to describe Doyle, it would be, he is a naturalist. He, he, he's got the talent uh, to, to develop and apply natural things. Because he sees something out of a tree or a piece of wood that I don't see. See, there's a good looking table. See, I could carve a cowboy boot out of the bottom of that right there and I didn't think twice about it. And that could be the leg to the table. This is what I call some good looking babies. I can work with something like that. To make tables, chairs, I don't know. This is my little wood stash. This is my wood shed. It's kind of dark in here. I don't know if you can see, but I keep my legs and whatever the parts of the table in rare woods that I, the bodoc, the black walnut, mesquite, tulip tree. And this is my little wood farm, my little ponder wooden ponderosa. This over here is where I get started at. I cut these up into, I've got my wood in different stacks for different kinds of wood. This is a bodark tree, this is an oak tree, this is mesquite. This is fixing to be a dining room table, eight foot long out of mesquite. I need one more eight foot tree, and then I'm gonna start putting it together. This is where I get my creation from, right here. This is what got me started in this business. A friend of mine gave me a piece of wood and I built me a bar top. And this is my, was my next step. I went and bought me a sawmill and I hadn't looked back since. But this is half the tree, and this is the other half, and I opened it up like a loaf of bread. And I kept the branches and the holes to make my legs and do some creations in them, like carved a horse head 
and a cow skull at the other end. This is on the coming out of my shop, going into the house, and these are some oak crosses I build, deer horns I create. This is my wood fireplace, and then I build my steps out of oak, and then I've got tables as I'm going on my porch. But this used to be a white picket fence for nothing here but dirt. And this right here, like this wall, that was a two-car garage with a dirt floor in it when I moved in it. None of this slab was here, none of this building was here. This is all cedar done. I wanted to create a ceiling that it looked 3D and make the wood look like it's coming out of the ceiling. I didn't count the pieces, but it took me three days to put that ceiling in. That's not the counting the balloons, that was just the squares. The beams I put in first, put up plywood, then I put that to the ceiling and insulated it and put plastic up and got it very well insulated in here. And most of the wood in here is done in mesquite. This is a piece of scrap that I came up with and I didn't want to throw it away because I seen a horse in it. Then the man come out from in the horse and I laid guns in the middle of my floor just because I thought they needed to be there. And this is my kitchen. When the house was built, they were people was short. My cabinet was down to here and I didn't want to bend over. So I raised it up six inches. I put cypress in it. I don't like to stain wood, but I stain this. This is the only stained piece of wood in the house. And I put oak and black walnut under for the trim and then laid turquoise all the way down the face front of it and into the countertop. This is a little table I did out of mesquite and built the table, but I needed a bench to go with it, so I built it out of mesquite and laid turquoise and silver and uh, just whatever I could put in it. Cow skull, painted it, got some silver in it, and I carved this little man on this corner here. But he's, he's a different man on this side than the other side. The chair. These are friends of mine that, uh, he does leather art. And that one caught my eye and I had to have it. And I had a place to hang it. This is hanging on a piece of mesquite. These are some horse collars. I made them look like guns. This is a piece of oak. This comes from a buggy from the 1800s. And I put it together to make me a rocking chair. I've never built one, but this is what I came up with. I don't have time and don't want time to sit in it. But all you have to do is just nod your head to rock and it does the rest. It rocks by itself. My living room is, this is a table I did out of black walnut. I put end caps on it. I was trying something different and it turned out very beautiful to me. And the one on the other side is oak and mesquite. I mixed the woods, I tried to make it look old, I carved an old man and an Indian in it. And then laid some arrowheads in it just for a conversation piece, but it will hold up. It's an heirloom piece, and it's very different. I leave the natural part of the tree as much as possible to create. This is a piece of mesquite that was over 600 years old. And I cut a shaving off of This is the outside bark, and this is what I've seen in the wood to bring it out. And this is a mesquite stand that it's sitting on for my stereo cabinet. This is a booth out of black walnut and oak. 
I had to lay turquoise into the top of it. And I didn't want to throw it away. I liked a piece of wood, and this is what I created with it. And this is a cedar chest out of a con, wrapped in cow hide. It's got stirrups on it for handles, and it's just a piece of art, but it's a very good piece of cedar chest. It's all cedar on the inside. That's, did that about four years ago. I was just playing with wood, and this is what I came up with. I didn't like taking baths, I'd take a shower. So, this is what I created. I took the tub, threw it outside, and tiled it, put me a seat in it, and did a star burst in the floor, used brick, slate tile, and cedar, and did that design again, like out there in the other room. It's all out of cedar. The countertops are red elm. My chicken coop is cedar, and the ceilings and walls are cedar. Every wall is done different on the inside of that shower. I've got, I like Texas stars, as you've noticed. And this is my creation of a bed, just like the rocking chair. You can't find another one like it. And it's just a creation that I created. The cow skull is pecan, the horns are oak, the horns come out of the footboard of the bed, and then I carved a Texas star in the end of the footbed, and then I had an oil painting put on each side of that. Longhorns and cowboys. Cowboys can rope the longhorns. This glass up here, I'm getting ready for winter and I wanted to close in my shop and I wanted to do something different. So I informed this lady that owns this glass that I'd like to buy some from her and I was going to create something, some stained glass. I wanted my shop in stained glass. So I started building and putting glass in and this is what I've came up with so far. These pieces up top, I'm going to do all the way across this end and up at the top from one end to the other in stained glass. But he's, he's just got something in him that he just knows what, what to do. This uh, tree trimmer brought me this tree. It's a crepe myrtle tree. He dropped it off in the yard and he said, I think you can do something with this. It laid out there about two weeks. And I hung it from a tree, cut the legs off. Inside I started carving a face on him. And then I went and had a hat made for it. And then I'll need to finish carving him, but he's in enough half stage, I guess. And I'm gonna put a water fountain down below it. And then start on something else. Doyle is a is a first class worker. Doyle went over and above, over and above um, my expectations. It was beautiful, the finished product. I'm loving it now more than I ever have. Not just this, life period.